When Behnaz Shafi became Iran's first ever female professional road racer, she shattered Iran's conservative social norms and inspired other Iranian women to do the same. But Shafi says Iran's collapsing economy has made a career in racing harder than ever. Can I get parts for my bike? Will they allow imports? Will I be able to get sponsors? Will relations improve with other foreign countries so that I can race? This week, Shafi and her fellow Iranians have a chance to choose Iran's next president. Each says they can fix Iran's economy. But Shafi is skeptical. This is what they've all said, but nothing's happened. Many Iranians have already decided not to vote due to authorities barring all leading reformist candidates and stacking the field with conservatives. Mehrab Kabuli is the head of an engineering firm in Tehran. He says he's staying home on election day. Right now, I'm convinced that with the change in presidents, nothing noteworthy will happen and the political situation cannot be reformed. Kabali says in recent years, 13 of his best employees have left the country due to the struggling economy and no government has made things better. 30-year-old Sina Saremi still works at Kabali's firm, but like many young Iranians, he still lives with his parents to make ends meet. Sarami says he's not voting either. I have no hope about uh, whoever is going to take the role. That's the cat catastrophe. Whoever is chosen as Iran's next president faces a tall order, fixing a battered economy and winning back many Iranians who feel increasingly disenfranchised from the political process.